Welcome back, boys and girls. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about expression. Expressionism is really important in art. It's how you show feelings and emotions. Today, we're going to make some really funny faces using watercolors, water, and something that you may have not thought of before. Grab your materials and meet me on back. All right, boys and girls, so to get started, we're going to need some type of permanent um, drawing tool. It could be a crayon. It could be a black permanent marker. But you really need something to make a nice, strong outline for your picture. Okay. Once I'm, I have my tool, I'm going to go ahead and start by drawing a head. Okay. And that head, I'm going to need a nose. Okay. Maybe a mouth. Some eyes. And you can decide. Your eyes could be open like so. Or your eyes could be closed, or it could be both of those things. Up to you. When you're done, you can add some ears on the side. Okay, and we're going to leave the head open, and you guys are going to find out in a second just why that is. Oh, and don't forget eyebrows. They also help with making expressions. All right, once I'm done, I'm going to need some water and I'm going to need some type of watercolor paint. These are just the paints that I have picked up that I have laying around here. If I can open them, we will use them. Whew. Okay, now that I have them open, I'm going to go ahead and begin to paint this picture like I normally would. I'll take my brush, I'll place it into my water cup, wipe the edge. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and choose a color. Now I'm using water, um, just the copy paper. Whatever paper you have is fine. The thicker the paper, the better. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and start painting. And I'm going to try to avoid the pieces of my face, like my eyes and my mouth, because I don't want to get paint in my eyes or in my mouth. And if I want to change colors, I got to rinse off my brush really well, grab another color. And it's great because for this lesson, it can be very colorful. So that face can be red, purple, green, orange, yellow, whatever it needs, whatever it takes. And just remember, avoid those eyes, avoid that mouth. Ears are okay. Hopefully, it seems already got the ears anyway. I'm gonna keep on doing this for the whole picture. And then, brush. Oh, I forgot about all the blues are on my face. That's I can mix paper, uh, color on my paper, but I don't want to mix color on my tray because it's hard to clean up after. So make sure those paints still stay separate. Thank goodness this eyeball is closed. I'm going to go right on top of that. Choose some more purple, maybe a different kind. Mm -hmm. And I'm just covering all those white spots. Avoiding my eyebrow. It could go with my ear just a little bit, even though we probably don't want water in our ear. If you've ever had that happen, it's not too fun. Okay. Now for the next part is where we get to experiment with some unique items. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, using my paintbrush, I'm gonna go ahead and get a good amount of paint on my paper. I'm gonna add a little drop of water in there too, maybe two or three, very lightly. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take a straw. Now this straw could be from a household got some PT in it. <laughs> Just kidding, it's clean. Uh, the straw is something that I got from just a uh, takeout container or a bottle from um, fast food. But I'm going to use it to help spread out the lines in my painting. So I see this little wet puddle right here. I'm going to take the straw and I'm going to blow. And as I'm blowing, I'm shooting that paint. Now, boys and girls, be careful, okay? Unless you would like to spend the rest of your quarantine in quarantine quarantine and make sure that you are taking your time and blowing just a little bit of water on your paper okay a little bit more paint drops and you really want that little that small puddle i would say no bigger than your fingernail any more water is gonna be a mess i'm gonna make some crazy grab my brush again let's go ahead and grab the color green Oh, that's a pretty green, nice little pink puddle over here. 
Okay, I'm not spraying it up. I'm not spraying it this way. I'm not spraying it this way. I'm not spraying it myself. I'm spraying it out. Okay, but notice how the paint is still on the paper. It's not around the table. It's not on the computer. Ah! Okay, I'm controlling the way I am spraying. I'm not spraying until I pass out. <gasps> no, no, we're not doing that. We are spraying with our whisper cheeks. Okay, so take your time. Fill in those areas as best you can. Okay, then when you're all done adding your hair, you can go back and finish the rest of your picture. In this case, I could go ahead, add a neck, a shirt, and maybe I want him saying hi. And when I'm all done there, I can go ahead and color the rest of my picture or paint the rest of my picture. The choice is entirely up to he dipped his head in paint. <laughs> I always like to add a pattern in the background too, just to give it a little bit more excitement. Or add some donut holes. I should wait until my paper is wet, but I'm going to work around. When I'm all done there, I can color these up. Boys and girls, take your time. As you are blowing with your straw, remember to use gentle blow uh, breaths into your straw. Do not <laughs> trumpet blow your straw, all right? Take your time. Have a little fun making those lines move with paint and air, okay? And make your picture expressive. You can have the mouth go open. You can have the mouth be nice and wide like a smile. Or you can do all of these things. Okay, you can have one eye open, one eye closed, both eyes open, both eyebrows up. So you figure out what expression you want to make and the hair or craziness that goes along with it. Boys and girls, take your time and have fun.